Tyler back with Team Go Remy, and today we're gonna teach you guys how to take crosses. All right, guys, so the first thing you need to focus on with crosses is gonna be your positioning. So we're just gonna run through a few different things depending where the ball is, it's gonna change where your starting point is gonna be. And the better starting point you have, it's gonna increase your range of how far you can come out to collect the ball. It's gonna make it a lot easier if you're in the right position. So this is just something you guys really need to focus on. So to start, we got Remy out wide on a corner kick, in swinger, so you don't wanna be too high off your line. Couple yards, shoulders, prefer to have them still facing out towards the field. You can still step to attack the short ball. You can attack forward. And if it's going deep for back post, easy crossover and you're still here. So you don't wanna just be facing the ball like this because for one, it's gonna be slower to open up to go back. And also you have no idea what's going on behind you. If there's a man unmarked, you're not gonna be able to help your defense organize to pick them out to make sure that everyone gets marked up. So. One thing we would change is if Remy is right footed. So now it's an outswinger, which means he's not gonna be able to bend it into my near post. So you can take another step out right here. Shoulders will still be facing the same spot, but just this way, that extra step, extra yard, it's gonna make it so you have an extra yard and distance in your range where you can collect the ball. So now if we got Remy moving a little bit farther up on his left foot, you wanna make sure here, probably drop, you wanna drop back in, start cover, covering your near post a little bit more because now it's a little bit more realistic for him to try to whip a ball in. And then if he's on his right foot, again, you can just take a step out because right here, I still feel confident if he tries lacing this, it's not gonna be a curler. You're gonna get a good line on it and you'll be able to take step and a half, cover it. Most likely he's gonna be whipping it in and you're gonna be in the right position. All right, guys, so the next thing you need to focus on is gonna be reading the flight of the ball, and this is gonna require a lot of patience. So something I do, something I was taught at a very young age, is before cross is always hit, I always just take a small step back, just like this. Right when the ball's hit, I just step here. It just reminds me, don't just go chasing the ball like a little puppy dog. You wanna just sit here, read it, be patient, get the flight of the ball, and then you go. So when I'm always working with younger keepers, sometimes you see it with even more experienced guys. They might not be aware, but I always ask them, would you rather be late or early to a cross? So you guys can pause the video, comment down below if you think you'd rather be late or early. So the correct answer is, is you guys never want to be early to a cross. Because if you're not reading it, you see the ball in the air, you just start heading in a straight line, most likely this is what's gonna happen. You're just gonna end up whiffing at it. It's gonna go behind you. And once I'm here and the ball's behind me, it's a tap in for an easy goal. So what happens when you're late to a cross, which is still not ideal, this is not what you would want to happen in a game, but it is better than what you guys just saw. So if the ball comes up, say I didn't read it right still, but I stay on my line, ball's right here. At least I'm in between the ball and the goal. So even if someone's getting a shot from six yards out, obviously that's not a position that you wanna be stuck in, but it's better than them tapping an open goal. You just come out, make yourself big, maybe you get a big save, and at least you give yourself a chance. All right, you guys, so now that we have our starting position down, you guys know to be patient, read the flight of the ball, make sure you have the correct path before you go. Now we're gonna work on the actual technique that you use when you actually come to collect a cross. So if a ball's coming straight on to you, say it's a through ball coming up, they hit it a little heavy, coming into your box, you're gonna take the ball straight on. So you're still, every time we go over any sort of handling, still catching it in the W, just like this. You're gonna catch it just as if it was coming to your chest, just gonna be up here and make sure you guys, when you go up, you wanna get at the highest point. You don't wanna be having the ball here, coming down and then coming up. You wanna do that, you wanna make sure ball's up, you attack it, highest point, always landing on two feet if you can, if you're gonna be more stable. Obviously there's gonna be times where you're off balance, you go on one foot, you take it to the ground, that's fine. But if you're able to land on two feet, land on two feet and really focus 
on getting a knee up. You need to get your knee up. Usually you want it to be in between you and the striker. That way, if they come and hit you, they're gonna take the brunt of the hit and they're probably gonna be second guessing that choice next time you, they see you coming out, which is just gonna make it easier in the long run. You wanna have that reputation of being a physical player because the strikers are really not gonna wanna mess with you on contested balls. Okay, so then it's gonna be pretty much the same technique when you're taking a cross at you from the side, but it's gonna make it a lot easier for you guys when you go take it. You're gonna turn your body. It's gonna be a lot easier catching a ball, coming to your hands like this, than trying to still attack it forward here and trying to time it so exactly when the ball is coming across you. So you're gonna turn your body across highest point, And then also you wanna make sure that you're bringing up your knee that's in between you and the field. If you're bringing up this leg right here, guy can run right through it. It's gonna spin you like a top. And if someone hits you here, nothing's protected. So it's gonna look like you're here, ball's coming in, here, still landing on two feet. Again, if you get bumped, you have to go to the ground, that's fine, but lay on two feet if you can. All right, so here's a little bonus tip for you guys on corners. You know how the strikers are always coming into you. They always just want to stand right in front of you. They're jealous that they're not keepers. They want to be as close to us as possible. They need all the attention they can get because they just weren't hugged enough as children. And it's just, we can't do anything about it. They're part of the game. I guess we need them. I don't know. But uh, if the striker comes in right on you, you want to call your defender in. So we got a boy Remy right here. So you put your, your, your defender right in the middle between you and the striker, and right before the ball's hit, you guys are allowed to just push him into the striker. For whatever reason, I'm not sure exactly why, it is not a foul, the ref will never call this. You just push him to the striker, clear out the space, and now you got a few yards open, you can move easily, but you guys need to be very careful on this, as you don't wanna get stuck just focusing on pushing them right after the ball's hit, because then you're gonna be a little distracted, you're gonna be out of position off balance, and when the ball comes in, you're not gonna be able to make a good play on it. So you gotta do it just right before they hit the ball, just push them, clear out some space. And I personally wouldn't do this every single time. Maybe if a big guy came on you, he's giving you trouble on a kick before, maybe next time that's when you push him and just see if it works out a little bit better for you. All right, you guys, that's the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you wanna get better crosses, just come out with a friend. Just knock these out as much as you can. And till next time, peace. I play the game, yes, see. Life to the cards, not me. And they with the space can't stop me. I'm coming home, just watch me. Top street, top feet, moves can't shake the balls. I'm tripping like it's candy floss. It's gold, rainy, take the loss. So place your bets, we take it out.